Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you guys are doing really wonderful. And so I am here with the latest on Invest 95L, which is making its way to the Caribbean and should approach as we head into the next couple of days. And I will also be looking at what is currently happening and uh, what is expected. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and so as we take a look at this view here off the North Atlantic, we can see that there is some activity across some areas. There we have Dawn up there, which has weakened to a tropical storm. So yesterday, it actually attained hurricane status with maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour. And so it took the last opportunity it had to get itself together and eventually become a hurricane. And now it is moving into cooler waters, hence its disheveled appearance on the satellite imagery right now so it will continue to weaken and eventually dissipate as we head through the early part of this new week and so going into the tropics now there we have our disturbance 95 l and it is not looking too good it is producing some more shower and thunderstorm activity compared to yesterday but it is unorganized so let's uh, zoom into the area here we can see it not too far off from the lesser antilles and it should approach as we head into tuesday going into wednesday as i said it is not an organized system but the NHC states that it could still become a depression however I doubt that and the chance continues to decrease as a matter of fact so as we go on to the seven day outlook we can see here that it is now given a 40% chance and to note that this was all the way up to 70 and now the chance has continued to decrease just as I mentioned yesterday where if it's not getting itself together the chance will continue to decrease that is exactly what we're seeing happening this morning and as it is going to be approaching the Caribbean those upper level winds are likely to kick up and thus uh, will prevent any further development or intensification from taking place. So let's see what it does after today but nonetheless it should approach the region as we're going to be heading into Tuesday as I said and uh, going into Wednesday as well and uh, we're going to be taking a look at the rainfall totals very shortly but we want to now look at what is happening across the area. So zooming into the Caribbean we can see that there isn't a whole lot happening right now for some areas such as Jamaica going to the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands and through most of the lesser Antilles it might be cloudy for some uh, areas but nothing too crazy going on maybe even with a brief shower similar story for the ABC Islands and uh, Trinidad and Tobago kind of in the clear maybe some passing clouds at times but as we head over into Central America we see a lot more shower and thunderstorm activity we see that blob in southern Belize going to parts of Guatemala and in uh, northwestern Honduras we also see some some activity down in parts of Nicaragua and uh, there is a tropical wave over there so that is helping to enhance that activity hence resulting in that rainfall for many areas and there will likely be more rainfall as we head through today and especially into this afternoon but for the most part there is uh, that Saharan dust in the regions and uh, that is why uh, we don't see much happening within this area here because the dry air it helps to stabilize uh, weather conditions and prevent any major thunderstorm activity from developing and uh, uh, let's go ahead and look at the map now so here we can see the latest Saharan earlier map and we see that a uh, plume of dust across plume of dust and dry air across parts of the northern Caribbean so as I said that is the reason we're not seeing much happening because that dry air it helps to stabilize uh, weather conditions there's a little break in it as we head to the lesser Antilles uh, nothing too crazy but we see that it is still very much dominant out there in the main development region and that is going to be posing a problem for those tropical tropical waves uh, coming off because once there's a lot of dry air in abundance which is marked by those darker shades of oranges reds that helps to prevent any major development and that is the reason 95L has been struggling so much because the shear is currently conducive it is the dry air that is uh, preventing it from sustaining a lot of thunderstorm activity and organizing uh, eventually and that is why we see the formation chance decreasing and it is getting more unlikely that we will see a tropical cyclone actually become of this so it looks as though this won't uh, become a named storm but nevertheless it could bring impacts especially in terms of the rainfall for the Caribbean but what is expected in terms of the rainfall activity for today so let's go on to what is expected for today looking at the GFS and uh, we can see here that the map becomes very colorful in some spots in Central America such as Mexico going to parts of southern Belize Guatemala and uh, El Salvador uh, Honduras Nicaragua Costa Rica Panama and even for parts of 
Southern South America, some spots in Colombia, going to Venezuela, Guyana, and Suriname. And the more colorful we see this map here, the more rainfall activity is likely. And so heavy rainfall is possible at times for these areas. And uh, as, as we head to the Caribbean islands now, going to the ABC islands, much not expected. Maybe a brief shower or so for some spots in Trinidad. Then as we head through the Lesser Antilles, but nothing crazy expected today. And then as we head to the Northern Islands, it is likely that it is going to be sunny for the most part. Sunny and hot and uh, dry. Maybe a chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, especially this afternoon. But nothing crazy or nothing much in terms of rainfall activity is likely there. And as we move on to what Euro has to show, Euro is in agreement uh, for the most part, showing that rainfall activity going over into parts of Central and Northern South America. And then the possibility for some isolated activity as we head into the Lesser Antilles and northern islands of the caribbean so that is what is expected and now we want to go ahead and move on uh returning to 95l and as we return to this satellite imagery here we can see that again it has all that shower and thunderstorm activity developing and so once it is going to be making its way in it can enhance the rainfall activity uh which can be very heavy at times for some islands and so uh, especially the windward islands it is important that the necessary precautions are taken because even though we're not talking about a tropical cyclone here it could still be very much impactful and so guys uh please do not take any unnecessary risks and then finally we're going to be taking a look at that next tropical wave and so as of this morning 2 a.m it is not marked as a disturbance however if it seems as though it could actually develop and become something out there it could be marked which is uh something that the euro ensemble members have been picking up on for some time now so this is as we head into uh the end of this week and this is actually for 95l and that new cluster is for that next tropical wave here so the euro ensemble members have been picking up on that next tropical wave potentially trying to get itself together and then as we head into next week we see it starting to make that northwestward track so most of these members showing that it will be missing the caribbean and so seeing something interesting for 95l though if that manages to actually uh, make its way into the gulf that would cause some problems there's no guarantee of that happening at this point in time though so we really just have to wait and see but uh, i will be i will be keeping you guys updated on it in terms of the gfsn ensemble members though they're not expecting 95l to become anything much and those l's you're seeing that is for that next tropical wave that will be approaching so only time will tell what's going to be happening again this could be our next system to watch and i will be keeping you guys updated as time goes by so that is pretty much it for this update and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond once i get the chance and as always remember to be with wise